Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome, Aquarius. Come on in, my loves. How are you? I hope all is well. I hope you're taking care of yourself, my loves. We're going to get into your energy for the month of April. We're going to check out your love offerings here or see how you're doing in regards to love, relationship, okay, my loves, situationship, whatever it is we got going on for you, Aquarius, for the month of April. And this is going to be for sun, moon, rising, and if you have a Venus, or even if you have a north node or south node as a Aquarius. The readings may resonate for you as well, my loves. So let's check in on your reading, my love. Let's check in on your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, Aquarius, for the month of April. Let's see where you're at. Let's see where your thoughts and emotions is going to be here for the month of April. And let's just see overall what spirit has to say, what messages your higher self wants to inform you, Aquarius. Okay, my loves? So let's see here. Let's dive deep, my air babies. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit gods. What messages do we have from my lovely Aquarians? What messages, spirit? For the month of April, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, Leo energy here, my loves. We have the strength card here. Okay, let's see. What other messages here for the month of April? Mmm. Piscean energy here, the hangman. Okay, thank you, spirit. Give me one more card here to finish Aquarius energy here for the month of April. Give me a card for the future here, spirit. The four of pentacles, earth energy here. All right, so my loves. Tells me off top here with the hangman here in your present energy. Okay, my loves. You have been enlightened, okay, Aquarius? Something here has brought your attention to the forefront here, Aquarius, okay? So uh, you've been through this halfway mark, right? We know the hangman has been through a halfway mark in their life, okay? They come to this point where they experience things from a lower vibration perspective, right and now they've been able to experience the other side of the lower vibration that higher vibration that higher frequency right versus the lower frequency right so now you know okay what the energies are like on a lower perspective and you know what the energies and vibrations are like on a higher perspective right so now you have the opportunity aquarius to Go backwards, okay, or go forward here. That's what the hangman is all about. The hangman starts out at the food card for the ones that are not um, very understanding of tarot. I like to explain that as well here on my channel for the ones that are new here, okay? But the hangman represents um, being that food card or that food card, which is Aries energy, starting out on their journey starting out taking the leap of faith meaning risking it all right aquarius and then once that person goes out and pack their bag and take their one and their dog and they pack very light okay aquarius so you all packed it very light here okay spirit is saying and now that you got to this halfway mark right with the hangman card and it's lovely how it just sits up in order i love how things go in divine order i love the universe and how they illustrate things okay um and now you're just sitting here for some of y'all you're sitting you're waiting you're observing okay because you learned some lessons okay situations in your past have enlightened you aquarius and now you're ready to uh however move forward of course but you're being very smart Okay, with the four of wands, four of wands, hold on. Hold on, spirit. I wanted to state here the four of pentacles here, Aquarius. Okay, and how you are being very mindful of your 
values, what is valued to you, Aquarius, and your finances, right? We know the pinnacles has to do with what you brought down here and manifested on your journey at one point in time where you were in that full energy and now being in the hangman position here with the Pisces energy here, you've been enlightened, right? So now moving forward in the future, this is your future energy card here, okay? You're being very mindful um, of how you offer your energies, how you offer it has anything to do with your finances. You're being very mindful, right? Because he has this pentacle here, you notice, up to his chest, okay, honey? He haven't handed it out to nobody, Aquarians, okay? And he has his other pentacles down here in his chest, okay? So, again, he's been very mindful of who he offered his pentacles to, right? Because this person has went through, a.k.a. you, my loves, you went through some ups, some downs, Rather, if it's with a person, place, or thing, you've been able to observe, right? You've been able to been hit with your emotions. You've been able to been hit with your thoughts, right? You've been able to been hit with physically, right? And why I say that? Because you have the strength card here. We know the strength card is overcoming battles, overcoming hardship, overcoming situations that led you to evaluate life to get a new perspective on life and this is where you're currently at with life right all right thank you spirit for those messages let's get some clarification here okay let's break down your cards here and see why my loves let's see what messages spirit has for you all right thank you spirit for those messages clarifying the strength card here why do we have the strength card here spirit why do we have this strength card here? Clarify the strength card for Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Yes, you wanted to come back out. As I was meditating, my loves, in your energy here and getting ready and saging the cards and so on and so on, right? The Two of Cups was definitely peeking out at me, okay? Definitely wanted to talk to me. So in regards to this person, place, or thing, okay, some of you all, this is someone from your past. I'm just going to be keep a buck 50, okay? This was someone that was in that soulmate energy, right? Someone that you had lessons to learn with, okay? This is someone, again, could have been from another past life. And now you two are in this life together again, right? We know with the Two of Cup energy here with the water, right? Um this person again allow you to learn lessons through the relationship through the bun through the soul tie that you two experience here on earth okay right this is a person that enlightened you on so many levels rather it was a bad experience I don't call it bad experiences. I call it a learning experience, okay? Because if you didn't go through this bad experience or whatever, however you want to look at it, Aquarians, okay? If you didn't go through this process, you wouldn't be able to be enlightened, right? You wouldn't be able to have this experience and to recognize what a bad experience is like. You got to go through that a bad, bad experience, Right, Aquarius, to get to the good experience, to get to being knowledge. Remember, knowledge is power, okay? All right, so when you went through this process with this soulmate energy, okay, and a soulmate could have been a person, again, that you are assigned to learn lessons with while you're here. Or it could be a soulmate, could be a family member, it could be a sister, brother, cousin, okay? Someone that you had to go through these lessons or these AKA experiences with to reevaluate yourself, realize where you're at, realize the decisions and the roles that you played in the relationship, right? And when you did, it is what gave you this courage here with the Leo energy, with the strength card to overcome this part of a battle that you may have looked at it as or observed it as Aquarius, right? 
this opportunity in this relationship is what I look at it as, okay? I'm very optimistic in that energy of being a Saggy in my sun sign. So I can look at everything in a more optimistic way, meaning I can take it from a bad experience and look, in, and look at the good in it, right? And by doing that is how I can overcome my situations. And let me tell you, I'll fuck it up, flip it up real quick, okay? And because of that, that's that alchemy in me, okay? That's that alchemy in you all, Aquarians. Don't sleep on yourself. You're very powerful, okay? Now, I say that because look at you. You've been enlightened now here, my loves, okay? In regards to this person, place, or thing that you had to go through and experience. Give me one more card here, spirit. Ooh, hold on. Hold up, Okay? The four swords, okay? You heard it. It wanted to flip the fuck out. It was damn near going to fly off this table, Aquarius, okay? Well, we have the four of um, swords here. Here's your energy, my loves, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And if the ones that like to know the energies here, we again have water energy. Some of y'all could have energies or learn this experience from a Pisces. We have Cancerian also here energy and we have leo energy fire energy is here as well and aquarian my love your energy is here of course and earth energy taurus capricorn and virgo however let's get back to the get down okay so the four of swords this is someone okay something that again you sat back with the four of swords and you observed very well you're very good with observing aquarians you're very good being intellectual ruling the mind okay ruling the swords okay don't sleep on yourself aquarians go look yourself up Pull your birth chart up. See what wheel and cycle you on right now, okay? Because you're at the right place at the right time, Spirit is saying, okay? Be mindful. I'm just a messenger. So these messages coming out are being channeled, okay? So it's, if it's hitting your soul, if it's hitting your spirit right now, Aquarians, then this reading is for you, okay? But however, let's bring it back. The Four of Swords here. You sat down, you thought about this, you meditated on this person, place, or thing, okay, that allowed you to go through this experience. And now that you have done that, you've gained your strength. And for some of you all, you're in the process of gaining your strength because this is your past energy here, okay? And now you've built that courage to recognize and understand your path and what's going on now in your life. And however, the soulmate tie that you had with this person is so strong. And boy, is it doing what it's meant to do. Okay? Meaning this person, place or thing, is doing exactly what it needs to do in Aquarius life. Hear me. Listen out. Listen, Aquarius. This person, place or thing, this situation that you've been through, either if it's even if it was this year or last year, Aquarius, you went and did exactly what you needed to do. Everything happens for a reason. There are no more states, okay? So whatever this person, place, or thing allows you to sit back right now at this time and click on this damn video to help you get enlightened, okay? This person allowed you, and some of you all, they took you through it. They took you down and through hell, Okay? And brought your ass back. Thank you, spirit. Okay? And because of that, now again, you have gained the courage. You have gained the strength to overcome this situation. Right? Some of you all took you down, took you rock bottom. Okay? Been there, done that, got this t-shirt. Yes, my loves. Okay? That's why I'm here now to delay okay to deliver excuse me we ain't delaying shit okay we're going to deliver the message and that's how i'm able to be in this space because i went through my spiritual awakening you all are going through your spiritual awakening here right now at this moment why this is your present energy this is your past energy and this is moving forward energy this is your future and remember they don't call it a present for nothing it's a gift honey 
the present, when you live in the present, you get your gifts. Don't miss out on your gifts by living in the past. Live in the present, receive those gifts. You live in the past, you're going to miss out. It's that simple. Do we need to make a song? Don't live in the past, live in the present. To get them gifts, don't live in the past because that will be your ass. Okay? Look, I'm trying to help y'all on whatever level I need to help you. You ain't counseling now, Aquarius. This is a this is a channel of counseling. This is a channel where we drop the jewels every day, all day. We keep it raw and real. And if you're new here and you like that, you don't like shit sugar-coated, well, this is your stop. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get these ratings here. Okay? On love and forever eat what evolving we love and we forever evolve and you are right here in this situation where you're evolving right now Aquarius why because you don't already picked yourself up you got your strength back from this person they might have pulled your edges out okay literally but hey, you had to get there. Look, damn that. Look, 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 look. Look, my hurt came out. Thankfully, my teeth didn't come out. Shit. Okay. Um, vice versa for me here. Gain weight. Okay. Uh, was in places I didn't realize I was in. Uh, look, took me down through that. But I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I know what that lower vibration energy is like. I lived there. I ate there. I slept there. Okay. Know what it's like. And then I got up, got on the good side, got on the enlightened side. I know what the higher frequency and the higher vibration is like, and I love it. I love it better, actually. I got a nice laid out bed over there. Feels good, okay? And you have that free will. That's the beauty of what the universe gives you. And that's the gift. That's the gift, Aquarius. Okay? That's the gift. That's the beauty of life don't forget that and that's what allows you to move forward in the future and that's how you're so mindful of your finances and your pentacles you ain't now splurging your ass now ain't giving everybody and everything your heart your feelings your money your whatever it is that's your values to you you ain't doing that no more you don't have your heart sitting on your sleeve over here you got the uh the intuition, you got your feathers up here, okay? You're following your intuition. You see the order here? You see the foundation that you're building? You see how you're allowing yourself and listening to your higher self? You see which way it's taking you? Look, don't sleep on yourself, Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Let's clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Let's clarify the hangman. Why we have the hangman? Why are my babies enlightened here? Look, I heard finally. Look, well, finally, Aquarius, shit. Look, yes, finally. Look, look at you. You're ready to take actions. We have more fire energy out here. Sagittarius, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. They called you out too. And Leo energy again here. My loves, I want to say also Aries. But again, this is my lovely Aquarians. And you all now looking good, honey. Looking sexy. Look at her eye. Look, look. She already knows she look good. Mm -hmm. And you're ready to take action because now that you've been through this spiritual awakening here, right? Some of you all have went through another ascension. Yes, another ascension. Yes, another awakening. It's levels to this shit. Okay, it don't just stop here when you get enlightened or you choose to be in that higher vibration. You still got to move forward. You still have to progress, right? It just doesn't stop there because you choose not to live around frequencies that are in lower vibration and don't want to do nothing with themselves, okay? You still got to move forward. You're the water barriers, Aquarius. Don't sleep on yourself. Look, you on love and forever evolving. You ain't got no choice but to know yourself. You eventually will when you keep listening to the videos here, honey. Okay? So check your birth chart out. See where it is now since you've gotten to this halfway mark. Since you've built the strength. Since you meditated on this now. You've meditated on your life and where you're at. 
Now, with this process and with this experience, I would say this human being experience you just currently experienced and just got yourself up out of. Because you're ready to take action, right? We know the Queen of Wands, she's very intuitive. She can jump in all seats, okay, of all queens and kings, okay? So take this action that you're on right now. Be mindful of your choices that you make here now. You got the jewels. Thank you, spirit. Any other messages in regards to the hangman? Give me one more card here. You know I like things that come in threes, okay? Wow, look, my loves, we have the full card. Thank you, spirit. I just channeled this information to you all, right? Or spirit did. Spirit just said, explaining it to you. Gonna make the cards where they can see you. Excuse me for my setup this week, my loves. I'm currently on the road and traveling, enjoying my damn self, okay? And um, I'm trying to make the setup here in the auto as suitable as possible for you, my loves, okay? So bear with your gal, okay? But again, as Spirit said here at the beginning of your reading, now do you see the correspondence? Look, big words coming out and shit. Knowing damn well I'm on Aquarius reading because I'm over here saying big words and shit. Okay, moving forward. I digress. Look, I got to regroup myself. My health is my wealth. Hold on, Aquarians. Okay? you know more about that because the more your ass over here getting enlightened, you're going to be picking up your health. Drink some tea. Cleanse yourself and detox your ass out. Okay? Moving forward. As Spirit said here at the beginning of your reading, as I was breaking down, the hangman, the hangman first starts out at the fool card. Again, why? Because the zero is here, if you notice right here. They're taking a risk. They're packing light. Remember I said he grabbed his wand here? And you see how he has shit, probably just two pair of drawers and a, a t-shirt and some shorts and a flashlight, a bite to eat, and his dog, okay? And his dog is like, wait a minute, don't leave me. You ain't going to leave me behind taking this leap of faith. He done left the town. He done left here the experiences that he learned, okay? And he's taking that adventure, right? He's leaving the past behind. And do you see how the color coordination, how he started out here and the happy vibration phase? Look, and when he went through that experience here with that soulmate energy, with that relationship, because look, most of the spiritual awakenings with thyself will come from people that you shared your energy with. Rather, they can suck that shit dry and be those vampire energies that I call that suck your energy dry. And then they leave you here just left with damn near your drawers, damn here with your pants. And that's it. That's all they leave you with. But look, you got that six-pack still going on, fellas. Ladies, you still looking good here. Okay? Still can hold your damn posture. Okay? And you see how they go hand in hand? You see he was up and upright first going out taking that leap of faith. And then he went hung upside down because now he's able to look at things from a different perspective. That's why I love the details and the cards. He's here alone. He started out alone. He going to finish up alone. And you hold them pentacles alone. Okay? Yes. So I hope that helps you get an understanding of where you're at now, Aquarius. And now you got the green light. Now you got the keys to your castle. Don't have no other female or no other male coming into your castle and you handing over keys and you haven't been enlightened. Don't allow them to run you back down through that. Okay? You got the upper hand now. The ball's in your court. Okay? Now you have your free will if this person, because they always going to come back when you're doing good. Okay? Rather you're doing good or bad. Mostly when you're doing good, because they want a piece of that, okay? Some of them like the cake and eat the pie, too, okay? So be mindful of that, but I love it. I love your coordination. I love how you fucking your energy up right now. So keep it going, okay? Moving for Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm-mm, spirit, wait a minute. Okay, Aquarius. 
There's a lot wanting to be said here. So I guess because I said what I said, now y'all ready to talk, huh? You ready to talk? Check your girl out. Book me for a personal. We can digest this thing. We can dive deep, okay, and get you more enlightenment. But let's see, moving forward here, what wanted to all pop out here, okay, we have is the Three of Swords. Yes, clearly, clearly someone broke your heart, Aquarius, okay? We got the heart here in the background. You see that? And we got the sword coming straight down. This is your energy. So this is how I know my babies want to talk. It's all right, Aquarius. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it together, okay? Because I've been here, done that, got the t-shirt. Got my heart broken several damn times. It ain't stopped me yet, okay? Still going and looking good while I'm doing it. Moving forward. So this person plays her thing. Yes, my loves, they have broken your heart. We've realized that I've already sensed that energy and smelled you before you came in here, Aquarius. And again, this person, as I said, here they is, here they energy. They now are admiring you, Aquarius. Saying, seeing how well you don't pick back up. Some of you don't uh, snap back. Like I said, you got your edges slick now. Ladies, fellas. Done snap back with your six pack and your four pack, ladies. However, and they're admiring you. Mm hmm. How the nerd admire you in hell? They wasn't admire you then when they broke. Moving forward. We got the four ones come out here. Mm hmm. Here are your feelings. Okay, here's their feelings as well. Wanting to reunite. Spirit said they was coming back. Mm hmm. But, however, Look at all these swords that's been stabbed in this person's back. This is your energy again. You know you have a way to come back in here, don't you, Aquarians? My lovely Aquas. Okay, you have a way to let this person know. Look here. Well, how many times you think you're going to come back and stab me in my damn back, Aquarius? Right. Because what you decided to do, this is your energy again. What you decided to do, preach. Uh-huh. Preach, spirit. I'm listening. You decided to get in the boat, take your kids, take the dog, and I want it all. You're nothing but a liar, a cheater, disbeaver, heartbreaker, and I don't want it all. I don't know where that song came from, but I'm sure it hit home for somebody. You're literally taking your family, your loved ones, you're getting in the boat, you're being hurt. You're going towards the calmer waters. You have your spirit guides out here. You know when the number six show up or the number seven show up, that's beloved. That's spirit stepping in. That's the most high. That's the universe. You all are following your intuition now, and you're slowly, surely getting your ass up out of there. Kudos to you, Aquarius. Keep it up, my loves. Okay, you see how her face expression is looking? She's been there, ran down up through the hill and coming back, still standing strong. Don't give up. This is only the beginning of a new perspective, a new life, a new thought process. You now have a whole new perspective on life getting on this boat. So again, don't have hatred towards this person. Don't have regret towards this person. Have gratitude. Be thankful that you don't pull yourself up out of this. Be thankful that this person took you through this. Because if you haven't went through this with this person, you wouldn't be where you at right now. You wouldn't be at this halfway mark. Okay? You wouldn't have been able to take this leap of faith here. You wouldn't have been able to be enlightened. So, again, people, I, look, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I used to be pissed off. Okay, I'm a whole fire sign in my sun sign. Look, you couldn't keep me still. You have to literally throw some water on my ass to put that damn fire out. So I understand on all levels with family members, relationships, hell, kids, every goddamn body. I have to really set my ass down and really recognize the things that I chose because at the end of the day, this is your universe, Aquarius. You manifested this shit. And once you realize that, oh, my, 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 honey. My, 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 honey. 
Mm, 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 mm. That's a whole nother video, Spirit. Let's move forward here. Let's check out the four swords here moving forward in your future and see what's to come here there. All right. And we'll go ahead on and finish up your reading, my loves. And I hope the reading was um, enlightened to you. And if it was, my loves, show your girl some love. Hit that big fat thumbs up there. Okay. And if you're new here again, welcome, my love. Subscribe. Be a part of family. We don't judge here. We love. And you have to, by default, you don't have a choice but to evolve here. The more you click on the videos here, right? Okay, moving forward. Let's clarify the four of pentacles here, spirit. Why do we have the four of pentacles here for Aquarius? Ooh, slow down, spirit. Dun, 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 dun. That's that dun, 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 dun energy right there. Look how he got his head chin up high. He ain't looking down, looking back for no goddamn body. You hear me? He on them horses and he taking the fuck off honey okay ain't nobody gonna be able to stop him so listen here listen here tune in aquarians okay we're almost done okay listen here now love the order love the order divine thank you divine i love the order here universe you have the cherry we know the chariot is all count searing energy as well you have the dark side of the shit and the bullshit you done been through excuse the nails lady my appointment is around the corner. Okay, moving forward. You have the white horse here, meaning symbolizing the white, the light energy. We have the black horse, the dark energy, the lower vibration energy, and the light energy, the higher vibration, the higher frequency, the lower frequency, the higher frequency, the lower frequency vibrations. Remind yourself. You're going to have to take both with you. Okay, why? Because you've learned lessons on this side. You laid in the lower vibration bed. You accepted the lower vibration things that were toxic, that devil energy, right? Your lower vibration, your root chakra. Then you went here, you went in your higher vibration, right? Your, which the color blue, your throat chakra, the color green, your heart space. You're taking both. You holding that goddamn grip. You gripping those horses by the leash here, by the column. And you're moving forward, and that's what you have to do. Don't ever think that, oh, don't be in them two goody two shoes. Look, I've been there, done that. Look here, let me tell y'all my experiences. So I thought once I got out of the lower vibration, because I pertain nothing but light. I never understood why I was brought up, um, why I clink so well with the dark energy right that was my scorpion rising energy that i'm so well with is why i do tarot cards i'm very in tune with the spiritual world and the spiritual realm they won't leave my asses alone aquarius they literally be whispering all the god literally moving forward but i'm so in tune meaning to say i'm so in tune aquarius with that side Right. And now I'm so in tune now with the higher vibration. So I pertain both. We all pertain both in us. OK, so don't ever don't ever think that. Oh, don't be in a two goody two shoes as I mean. It. Oh, I'm just living my best life now. I'm on a high vibration. I'm not fucking with lower vibration. People fuck y'all. Do 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 do. Woo, do, woo, do woo. No, you got to have both spirit, the most high, the universe. They want your ugly side and they want your good side. It ain't no, oh, I'm just highly favored. Like some people say in the religion language, I'm highly favored in the Lord. Fuck that. You're highly favored and you're highly low. You got to have both. We pertain both energy in us. It's good, bad, light, dark. You have to know how to balance both. This person has took off, meaning... You all, Aquarius, is literally getting up, leaving this relationship. You're leaving this energies. You're leaving these people behind. Why? You have two energies here that you don't already thought about this person, this individual, this person that you're in a relationship with. It could have been a marriage. It could have been just a simple ass committed relationship, a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, 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 husband, husband, girlfriend, however, whatever floats your boat. We all got our own boat that we like to float so float float on okay and you all floated on all right this is one quarter of movement 
Here's your future Carter movement. So you're definitely hauling ass, okay? I'm just going to say that. You're hauling ass, right? And you're moving forward because you've been enlightened. You've been enlightened. You went through your spiritual awakening. This person allowed you to do that. Again, this could have been your twin flame. I don't get too deep in those, but those are the type of relationships to recognize your dark energies, to recognize because a, a twin flame or soulmate is going to be able to show you things that you wasn't even aware that you did, right? And that's the beauty of that. Some people didn't like to face themselves in the mirror. Some people don't even talk to me to this day, Aquarius. Because when they see me by default, they know they have to go and face themselves in the mirror. And it's the truth. And that's the part of a scorpion energy that by default, I can change people by what I do, what I say, how I present myself, how I come in a room. Know your gift. Know your purpose, Aquarius. You have this same gift in you. Okay? And you're moving forward. This is the beauty. You found the light in yourself. You was used to that dark energy, yes. But now you can balance both. And you use that dark energy. You use that ego. That's your ego. You use that when you need to. That's the energy. Now you can understand it. Because now I can understand. I used to didn't even want to be in dark energy. Look, I still don't even to this day. But when I need to go back to that lower vibration. Because that's the vibration that's going to protect you. That's the vibration that you're going to be able to put your boundaries down for so you need that dark energy you need that energy of hey don't look don't f look don't elf with me it's like you have to have that that's there the most high gave that to you the universe gave you that for your protection know when to use it people think oh it's just there so i can get loose do this and do that no you need that to protect yourself and i feel like now that's what you all are realizing Aquarians, okay? I love it. Yes, this has been a beautiful reading. Spirit, is there any other messages here for Aquarius before we close with an Oracle chorus, Spirit? All right, Spirit said no. I believe we 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 covered everything we need to cover. Okay. Right? All right, so let's move forward here, my loves, with an oracle card here for you. And again, my loves, if the reading resonated with your spirit. And your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, my love, so that way you can be notified for when your readings do come out. I do post a video every day, okay? So check in to see where your moon, your rising sign is as well, so that way you can get a more perspective on your life here moving forward here for the month of April, okay? All right, Spirit, thank you for those messages. Let's get an angel oracle card for my lovely Aquarians. Eight of Earth. Yes, working on them pentacles, huh? You know, went from the four of pentacles down here to the eight of pentacles. Let's see, what does it say here? Skill work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. Well, 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 definitely sounds like an Aquarian. Look, y'all super smart asses. Mm-hmm. I love air energy because my Libras, I call them my librarians. Some of y'all may have librarian because they're very smart and intellectual as well. You all hold that mind sword energy. And then my Geminis, they're very good with communicating, right? I have Gemini in my moon sign, so is why I can damn near talk till I turn blue in the damn face. It's ridiculous when you have the twins sitting in you in your moon energy. Yes. But anyway, moving forward, Spirit want you to know, my loves, that whatever this is, whatever this enlightenment that you done picked up on, because you've already went through hell and back, okay? So now Spirit said, now it's time to get back in the books, honey. Knowledge is power. It's time for you to go within. And for most of you all, Aquarius, keep, continue to go within. You see how these books is sitting over here? Well, goddamn, Spirit, I ain't never even known that there was books sitting up in this card. It's many times that I don't pull this card out. Well, I be damn, Aquarius. Pick them damn books up. Get to knowing yourself. Don't sleep on your power. Don't sleep on yourself. You have skills to be worked on. You have things 
getting rewarded coming your way. And in order to receive these rewards, you have to go in and do the work. Look, let me tell you, honey. I read so many books. I read so much. I do so much research now. It's ridiculous. And let me tell you, my whole mindset is set up different. My whole perspective on life, people, places, things is totally different now. And I love it. And I can see it in my walk. I can see it in my talk. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. That's a whole nother video, spirit. But again... Going back to school, it don't necessarily mean going, you don't have to literally go back to school, sign up for classes, meaning go back and research, research history on yourself, research spirit, because whatever it is, this is where you're going to find your messages. This is where you're going to continue to move forward here. Okay. Learning all there is to know about the topic, whatever this is that you're wanting to start, begin Work on with the Eight of Pentacles here. Some of y'all could be a new project, a new business, a new opportunity. Whatever this is, my love, Spirit wants you to get skilled work, okay? Go back to learning whatever this is to gain more knowledge towards, right? My, my, my. I love it, Aquarius. Again, that has been your reading, my loves, for the month of April. I hope you enjoyed the reading here. And again, thank you so much, Aquarius, for your love, your support, definitely your donation. It helps the channel. It helps the content here. Thank you so much, Aquarius. My aqua babies, I love you. And until we meet again, remember, your health is your wealth. Bye-bye.